Don't listen to her. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destructive ends. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. It begs you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power, and it becomes harder and harder to resist. And once you stop resisting, it's too late. It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terrible, corrupting evil of the dark side. Millions dead, and far more suffering. What sort of person would you have to become to perform such deeds gladly? I don't know. <laughs> Neither do I, and I hope I never do. It's so easy to think that we would never fall prey to such a horror, that we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause, to use their own knowledge against them? We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and do whatever is required to fight against the dark side, even when the battle becomes wearying. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But I sense something ominous lurking in those shadows. But words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, I only hope we are all strong enough to do what we must. That was a very interesting conversation. I'm glad that I had it. Alright, Kath. Yes, what's on your mind? You have been very quiet lately. Maybe because I haven't been taking you out to play, but even so. Have I been quiet? I suppose I have. I guess I just don't like being left out of the loop. You don't understand. Left out of the loop, you know, not being told anything strung along. It's really starting to irritate me. For one thing, I want to know what the Jedi Council said to you. They pulled you in there and refused to tell me a thing about it. I'm rather curious to know what went on and why they didn't keep you on down to wing for training. Isn't that strange? I could be straight with him. I said I thought it was more important that I, that I find the star map than stay. I'm not going to fob it onto Bastila, No, she stood right there. Um. So I'm going to say that one. I'm going to be like, look, right, this is this is why. And why is that? You were a great help on Terrace, but why would they keep you with us? Don't they Don't they have to train you? I think I've done pretty well so far, to be fair. That is completely beside the point. The Jedi encouraged you to stay with us, and I don't believe the reasons they gave. You're a neophyte Padawan who's been saddled with the responsibility of tracking down these star maps. Why? That's not normal. I am not trying to provoke you or to imply that you're somehow responsible for the Jedi Council, but give me a hand here. There has to be a reason. Mm -hmm. Why don't you leave? Should I? See, now I would bring Bastila in and say, look, right, we have a bond. Yeah, but I can't. He's not saying that at all, so... I like how it is say that the game's acknowledging that, that this is like a, a rare occurrence that someone's been uh, upgraded to Jedi and then out into into the into the world, you know, well into the world, I suppose, and, and the game is acknowledging that uh, it's a something that isn't normally done. So I, I quite like that. Um, all right, all right, I'll tell him about it. And what does that mean? Well, is this more of that destiny garbage that the Jedi keep talking about? Well, that can't be it. Well, I'll tell you this much, I'm not going to wait around until I'm betrayed again. Oh, God. Stop waving your gun in my face, dude! He's, he's, he's doing, do it again. Do it again, right? And, oh, oh, that's it. 
just shut up or leave. Just what are you going to do about it? Yeah. What just what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Not yet. Just better hope I don't get a reason to. Look, I didn't mean it that way. I want to get to Saul. Not... No, no. Forget it. It just seems that all I can do is insult you, isn't it? Just forget I said anything. Let's let's just get on with what we were doing. If you stop being such a dick, then you wouldn't be insulting me, would you? Okay then. Hi T3, how you doing T3? Hi is that about you hanging with T3? Having a few bevies? Hmm? How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? Maybe we could talk. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Everything. Are you doing all right? I'm not sure whether I trust this chick because she was led into the dark side, and I suppose, like with that 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 discussion I've just had with Bastler, I would come to Yanni, Yanni to um, you know, because she's had first hand experience about this. So I I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit shaken. What is wrong? I have been thinking about myself. About Quatra and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. Yeah. Are you sure you should be here? <laughs> I'm not sure I want like that Jedi suddenly springing up on me. I think I care that much, of course I do. What time? I'm kind of torn between these two. Let's give that one now. Let's press her a little bit. I think maybe that I just need more time. Mm-hmm. Really? Do you know anything about the planet we're on? Fine. You don't like sand. Alright, let's ask you about... You. <coughs> Don't trust me? <coughs> Let's not push him. He's an eight foot Wookiee. <laughs> but let's go and see Mission, who I believe is. Hanging out, being naked. No! Here. Hey there, what can I do for you? Uh, let's talk about. Do you know anything about here? I always heard Tatooine was nothing but a rock covered by a bunch of worthless sand. I can't even figure out why Zerka Corp set up their mining operations here. Oh. Sorry I can't be more help, you know. Is there anything else I can do for you? Zerka Corp's here. Let's ask about you. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Um... Hookup's not a very useful term there, is it? But let's ask it. Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Yeah, who would pick on a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them, so maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times, and when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Whoa. Huh. <laughs> yeah, probably lucky he didn't kill you. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them, of course. I never got the chance. Yeah, I guess job. Dalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. Did he kill him? Are you kidding? Big Z ain't like that. He's just a big old softy inside. Oh yeah, I've never seen him kill anyone. The Volkers didn't know that. The other two screamed, 
and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. <laughs> the Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay upwind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? That's nice.